Hello, this is Roxana Popet with Step on Your Fears. Courage has been a very important skill that I have decided to grow over the years as at first it was very difficult and I had to push myself. I had begun to be very good at naturally using this wonderful feature to get me where I wanted to in my professional life and then in my business. How excited I am to share with you three tips on to, about how to get your courage back in your life because I know there was a point where you had this very wonderful feature and then something happened, some limiting decisions happened that got you to lose this courage and uh, I know there was some fear involved as well. In my case, I had the fear of what would other people think and uh, if I do more, if I push myself to do more, maybe I'll make other people look bad because they're not as, ambition, as ambitious. Wow, was this um, not beneficial way at all of seeing how um, our personal and professional development would be. I'm very glad that I had uh, decided to dig into this topic of courage more and more as besides the knowledge that you need when starting a business, you do need to have some extra uh, wonderful uh, skills. Now, the three pillars that I want you to think about when it comes to your courage are the following. Uh, make sure that you do something that scares you every single day, something that challenges you. In my case, it is doing live sessions on three different platforms now every single day. Does it get me to be better as a speaker? Yes, it does. It gets me seeing myself that I already am in front of people and I am talking life without any hesitation, without any fear and with full confidence that I can deliver to them and provide them the value that they need. The second thing that I want you to do is to keep in mind that you are doing your best with the resources that you have handy. This means that you need to be gentle with yourself and push yourself to do more. However, at the same time, remember that if you could have done more in the past, you would have done more. It's important what you did back then, but it's more important what you'll be doing from now on. And the third thing that I want you to know when it comes to courage, it is to make sure that you get fully informed, that you get the right knowledge, and then all of this wonderful, strong asset that is knowledge is going to help you push your courage to do more, even more. Let me know what do you think about courage. What is courage to you? Because courage is a different uh, thing for every one of us and I also want you to let me know with which of these three pillars to build your courage are you going to start with.